The Edinburgh Capitals had already beaten the Sheffield Steelers at I Sheffield once this season. They arrived looking to do the same again. The Sheffield Steelers had Jim Jorgensen in the lineup. No Stephen Gertson though. He was in the press seat still nursing his injury. Well, the Sheffield Steelers got off to a good start. They had the majority of the play in the first period. Chance out in front, penalty called, and the Steelers would go on the power play. Captain Martin Single disappeared to the penalty box. And Sheffield's one and only power play all evening. Well, it resulted in a goal for the Steelers. Who else but Tyler Michel, the man for the big occasion, he rifles one top corner. The Steelers led by a goal to nil at the end of that first period. Orlovsky moving across his crease, Michel picks out the opposite corner and a sold out I Sheffield were very happy. Second session and it was the Caps turn to go on a power play, a tripping minor against Jason Hewitt. He disappeared into the penalty box. The Caps got to work on their own power play. When it came, the equalising goal seemed pretty fortuitous. Was it Aleko? Was it Mark Thomas? One of the two of them got a tip past De Caro. Nothing Big John could do about it. The Caps were tied at one. We'll see again. Centering pass. I still can't work it out. Who got that tip? Only Big John will know. Well, I Sheffield was pretty loud for most of the night, but then went pretty quiet as the Caps took a 2-1 advantage. Bottom of your screen, 17 coach Richard Hartman picks up. Fata loses his man. Hartman shoots and scores. He's happy. He should be. The Caps led by two goals to one. Sheffield dug in and had the majority of the play thereafter. They were looking for that equalising goal. Matt Stevenson breaks. He's shot. Well saved. Rebound. Jeff Laguie. And that is 207th goal for the club. He's 473rd point for the Sheffield Steelers. And that took him into third place in the Steelers' all-time scoring records. Above Ken Priestley, below Ron Shudra and Steve Nemeth. Wish it was behind you. The fans had belief in that third period. Overtime beckoned. Went to a shootout. Lean Weber scores for the fourth time in four games against the Sheffield Steelers on the first penalty shot. Lean Pryde was first for the Sheffield Steelers. Perilovsky loses his stick. The Steelers say that's a goal. It is in many leagues in the world, but not the Elite League. It just means the penalty shot had to be retaken. Lean Pryde, second bite of the cherry. Doesn't deep this time shoot. Perilovsky makes the save. 1 0 caps. Dobrin, Big John needed to make a big save. He did. Remains 1-0 in the shootout to the Caps. Tyler Michel, the Steelers' goal scorer from the first period. He shoots as well. Shoots wide. Patrick can win it for the Edinburgh Capitals. He has to beat Big John. But Big John stands tall. That means Jeff Laguie to tie the game and send it into sudden death. And you can't come much closer. Deke backhand hits the crossbar. And the Edinburgh Capitals take the extra point. Two points to the Caps. One to the Sheffield Steelers. And the Caps win for a second time at Ice Sheffield. Incredible victory for the Edinburgh Capitals. Steelers were stunned. The coach was absolutely furious. Ryan can tell by the look on your face you're not happy. A lot of people wouldn't be happy tonight. It wasn't a great game, was it? No. I mean, it was a terrible game. No flow, no... We didn't have any jump. I mean, I can only apologize to the people that paid their money to come watch that. And it's frustrating, frustrating. Um, you know, we only had the one game this weekend, and, and I we didn't get much of an effort from from our guys, and it's it's uh, it's disappointing and, and frustrating on on our coach's part. And you know, we uh, we shot ourselves in the foot. You know, it should never have been a two-two game, and you know, we we had some stretches where we played all right for the most part. We just didn't have the jump. Uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get on the forecheck and you know we uh, we got probably beat by a better club tonight. Doesn't look like the same team that went on that seven eight game winning streak and was beating Alchemist. And that's the thing. I mean that you know since the game we lost in Nottingham, and we've been on this pity party and then we haven't uh, we haven't played well. We didn't play that great in Dundee, you know. And it's it's just it's just frustrating to to see a team collapse and you know we got to pick ourselves up and like I said it's. Uh, 
it's going to take uh, it's going to take some grit and effort, and you know we're going to have to to get down and and figure it out in a hurry, um, because you know we're we're far too good of a club to to fall like this, and, and that's what we talked about. But it's uh, it's just disappointing, you know. I got some I'm getting some great efforts from some guys, you know, Tyler Michelle guys, you know, like you get the same, and you, you just wish some of the, some of the other guys, some of the some of the more experienced guys, have been around for a while. You wish that uh, they would figure it out, but. It's uh, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating to. Is, to it, a mental, is it a mental thing? Is it because it, it can't be a physical thing? Because we know they're good players. So are they are they sulking? Are they feeling sorry for themselves? Yeah, you know, if I had the answer, I mean, you come in, we we address the game, we go over the game, when guys are upbeat, and we come out, and we just have no no urgency, no jump, and you know, we talk about owning the first ten minutes and and, and throwing, being physical, and we just just not getting it, and and. You know, I, well, I don't know what it's going to take. You know, we need to, uh, we certainly need to, to figure it out because, like I said, it looks like, it, like we're a club that's feeling sorry for ourselves and nobody else is. Nobody else is. And, you know, we, it'll be a short season if we don't. And, you know, you've you got to learn. Luckily, we have something to reference on last year. And, you know, we got we got to learn and, and, and stop it uh, as soon as possible. Gertson, does he come back in for Tuesday? Uh, it's probably highly unlikely for, for Tuesday, you know, and he's, he's, we miss him. He's a, he's a huge, he's a huge, uh, huge guy. He's the kind of guy that, that can get the team going, and, and he's a character guy that, you know, in tonight's game, I think Gertzi would have would have stepped up and got on the forecheck, and, and, and you know, we, we might have built off that, but, you know, we, we had more than enough depth. We got 11 imports playing tonight, and, you know, I just didn't feel defensively. I thought we were, we were bad all night. You know, I, I thought we... We made some some big mistakes and mistakes we hadn't been making in the past. Uh, you know, we weren't that effective. Uh, weren't that effective in the zone. We didn't get a lot of traffic to the net. We didn't uh, we didn't create a ton down there. We had good puck possession, but we didn't create that many chances. You know, and uh, came back to uh, to sting us. As a coach, what can you do to get in the skin or get in their heads, or uh, do you have to take a stick to them, or do you have to nursemaid them? Is it a question of a bit of both? Well, I don't. I definitely don't think it's it's a nursing time. I think it's it's some guys need to be challenged individually, and we need to be challenged as a group and, and challenge your leaders to be better. And you know, this is this is a team that's just, you know right now. It, like I said, it looks like we're feeling sorry for ourselves. So nursing these guys aren't isn't the answer. They they gotta they just gotta man up. The guys gotta man up. And and as a group, you need your leaders to come to the forefront now. And we gotta show up with urgency. You know, we got a good we'll have a good skate Monday. And Tuesday we got to show up with urgency and and, and play because we got to put on a show for these fans and I didn't think they they got their money's worth tonight.